Do you know the differential for this appearance? Let's go through the case. We can see lesions on both sides of the lung. If we look closely, we can see some of these lesions have a small associated lucency representing gas. This is called cavitation, and once you see this, it lets you narrow down the differential. The differential for a single cavitating lesion is really between infection, including TB, and a primary lung cancer, classically squamous cell. For multiple cavitating lesions like we have here, things are a bit different, and we can open out the differential. I like to use the mnemonic STAIR. S stands for metastatic disease, commonly from squamous cell carcinoma. This accounts for the majority of metastatic cavitating lung nodules and commonly arises from a lung or head and neck primary. T stands for TB and other atypical infections. A stands for anchor positive vasculitis, commonly granulomatous polyangitis, formerly known as vaginous granulomatosis. This means doing an anchor screen is usually a good idea in these cases. R stands for rheumatoid nodules. These are usually small and peripheral. E stands for septic emboli. Again, usually these nodules are small and peripheral. Going back to our case, looking at the mediastinum, we can see we've lost the normal concavity we usually see at the AP or aortopulmonary window. Look at this case for a comparison. This means there may well be mediastinal lymph nodes pushing metastatic disease and TB up the differential. A CT scan confirms the cavitating lesions, as well as showing the mediastinal lymph nodes within the aortopulmonary or AP window. The nodes in the groin were biopsied. This case turned out to be a metastatic neuroendocrine tumour. Not the most common cause for cavitating lung lesions, and really only something that would be possible to diagnose on a biopsy. The lesson here is to recognise when you have multiple cavitating lesions. Once you see them, you may not be able to come up with a complete diagnosis straight away, but the stair mnemonic can give you a good guide. This will hopefully mean you'll have a fair chance when you're asked.